purpose of this video is to sh answer or show how to answer a question that's on our uh, semester project uh, list uh, for EGM 1007. Now, we, I call this here the uh, uh, the crypto uh, problem for the uh, this the cryptocurrency stands for things like Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, uh, Litecoin, and uh, and so on. Okay, so a person invested 200k in Bitcoin and three other cryptocurrencies in March of 2017. In that time, they bought and sold from one currency to another, and 33 weeks later, they have 1.4 million. The increase in the value uh, has followed an exponential curve. Over these eight months, what is the average percent increase per month if they hold on to this investment? And how many additional months can they expect the value of the investment to double? What is the value of the investment in one year after the initial investment at the current rate? Graph the projected value of the investment on a per week basis. If they start to withdraw money at rate 6% per week after the one year anniversary of their initial investment, how much will their weekly withdrawal uh, will be their weekly withdrawal amount? Assuming the same growth rate, how long will it take to spend down the total amount in the investment? Do you think that will be enough on which to have a reasonable standard of living? Okay, so let's talk about this. So it's set up in an Excel spreadsheet. Let me show what we have here. Okay, there, there's the initial investment, which I'm calling P here. And that's $200,000, shown right here. Okay. Uh, and then we said 33 weeks, we have 1.4 million. That's here. So we're calling that uh, S. So the question is, what is the rate of growth of the investment? On a, uh, so to do that, I say, uh, let's set up these formulas over here in this box. Now, I'm looking at the rate of increase per week. And I'm calling that the amount of money they have available in the investment per week is S sub N, where N is the number of weeks. And uh, using a, a standard interest table, that's going to be P, the initial investment, times 1 plus R, raised to the nth power. So at zero weeks, they have P. At one week, they have P times 1 plus R, and we keep going, uh, taking 1 point R, multiplying by the uh, sum every week. Um, so here we have P, the initial investment, S of N is a value of N weeks. We're given that P is 200K and S of N is 1.4 million at 33 weeks. We want to solve for the rate, R. What is the rate of increase per week on average over this investment? And the, the calculation is to look at this equation and solve for R. So to do that, we take the log of both sides. Uh, no, first uh, we have S is uh, what we're going to put in here for 33 weeks. So we have 33 weeks, N is 33 and we put S instead of S sub N. So S is equal to P times 1 plus R to the 33, solving for R. So, uh, and that turns out to be R is equal to uh, the exponential of log 7 divided by 33 minus 1. I uh, assume that you know how to do that calculation uh, and how to derive that expression. And when you Put in the numbers and solve for R. Right here, we get R is 0 0.060742 and so on, as far as we might want to go. Okay, so after we have that, we want to, uh, I'm going to make a chart here showing how the amount of money uh, increases on a weekly basis. So starting at week zero, uh, with n equal to, uh, here, this is the, uh, uh, in this function, it's now n is equal to 0. So this 1 plus r to the n is 0. So s sub n just equals p right here, this number. 
Okay, so now every week we multiply uh, the expression uh, by another 1 plus r. So we're implementing this formula up here down in, in the elements of this column. You can see that right here. This is 1 plus r raised to the nth power. And then we're going to take that. This is n here. This is 1 plus r to the n. And we're going to take that number and multiply by this previous uh, s sub n value to give us the new s sub n value as you see right up here in this uh, formula. So we do that. Keep going down, 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 down. And you see, indeed, after, using that R, after, uh, at week 33, they have uh, 1.4 million starting with 200,000. So we can keep, we keep going down and generate this table going out to 52 weeks, which we take as being one year. So after 52 weeks, the investment value, S sub N, or S sub 52, is now almost 4.3 million. Okay, and then we graph that data here in the Excel chart. So we have two non-continuous columns. Right? We have this column with N and this column with R. So we have to select everything in this column then we select everything in this column, and then we uh, use uh, the uh, uh, chart, uh, the scatter chart, and plot this. So we've done that in class, uh, and that uh, I'm uh, going to work here on the assumption that you know how to generate a scatter chart. Now, one thing I've done here is that I want uh, I have to make sure make these numbers. Notice that all my numbers here in this column are in uh, currency numbers of dollars. And you, when you do this, create a chart, uh, when it makes the chart, it won't put the, the numbers on the y-axis here. It just uh, puts them as, no, as normal uh, fractions or normal, sorry, normal decimals. And want to represent it as currency. So in order to do that, uh, I uh, right-click on the number and look at uh, uh, how we might go about then uh, changing the uh, format of these numbers. It might take you a few minutes to exactly figure out how to do that. Uh, but uh, you you will eventually see how to do it here, and it's not too bad. So we want to format these numbers here. Okay, you got that? Here, look over here. I've selected this. Right-click, Format Axis. Over here is Number, and you have the option of... Uh, uh, I put it here as... Uh, uh, currency. See the dollar sign right here. S is equal to uh, uh, and of course you have choices many different currencies. So, okay with that. Now we've, I also put zero decimal places. Notice that. So I'm not putting like a million and then point however many cents. So you figure out how to do that chart you then have this graph, uh, which is one of the things that I ask you to do in the problem. So I just title the graph S sub n, S sub n value in dollars after the number of weeks. Okay, so here's 52 weeks. Uh, so after one year or 52 weeks, the investment is worth 4292000 Now over here, you might argue, well, I ask, what is the investment after in uh, so many months, or when, how many months does it take to double? Uh, and I said, it doubles after, uh, well, how long does it take to double? Uh, right here is where it just about doubles. See, uh, this, the expression here is uh, 1 plus r to the n, right here, uh, 820. A20 is N is 12 weeks. So I did it for 12 weeks. Notice that after after 12 weeks, 
which is just short of three months, the investment double. So that's where that appears. So I actually did not answer the question exactly in terms of months because the data that I gave you was in terms of weeks, and you're never quite sure uh, how many, although you know there's seven days a week, you're not quite sure how many days there are in a month. So this is uh, how I chose to answer that question. Now, say at this point, after 52 weeks, uh, we start to withdraw uh, money from the account at 6%. Now, it's still, we're assuming that it's still increasing, though, because of the increased value in the cryptocurrencies. So what, what I do is I just, in this formula right in here, where uh, R is, uh, the R computed up here is what I'm using, this R. Now I'm trying to take out 6%. So I'm going to have to take this R minus 0 0.06 because now my rate of increase is, has been changed because I'm taking out some of that increase. But you notice that R minus 0 0.06 is still a positive number. So that's what this is. R, the R from above, minus 0 0.06, and it's this. So we're st even though we take out now, on the next week, we take out this amount of money right in here. It says C60 times 0 0.06. Uh, and 0 0.06 uh, is, the, uh, is the amount of money that I'm taking out of this computed number here. So, I, like I said, I've replaced R by R minus 0 0.06, which is this amount. So the money now increases from here to here, but it uh, increases by, let's say, about $3,000. Still not bad. And uh, withdraw close to $260,000. And here, I kept the format in with the notice here and here. I kept the format in with the pennies. So now, withdrawing almost $260,000 per week. Forever after, we find that if the uh, rate of increased value in cryptocurrency continues at 6% a week, that we pull out a lot of money, but our initial investment still continues to slowly increase. So uh, that is how I address this problem. Now let me uh, pull that up and make sure that we've done everything here. Okay, so assuming the same growth rate, how long will it take to spend the total amount of investment? The answer to that is it never spends down. And of course, do you think it will be enough on which to have a reasonable standard of living? I'd say $260,000 a week is reasonable enough to have a good standard of living, uh, plus a lot more. And... Um, so that is over eight months. What's the average percent increase if they hold on to this investment? Okay, now over eight months, remember here, uh, uh, that's, that's what I'm looking at that 33 weeks as being eight months. So I say over eight months, what is the average percent increase per month? Okay, so go back up here. I didn't actually answer that question or the problem. I did it on average per week. And then uh, I'm saying the 33 weeks is going to be, let's say, close to eight months. Uh, um, but, you know, it's a, it's a bit different. So this is w where we come up with, uh, with our calculation. We, I did not compute average increase per month. I computed average incre increase per week. Uh, so when you do the problem, you might do do it in terms of months. If you uh, 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 and there's nothing wrong with doing it that way, but the numbers you get are going to have to be pretty much the same, very similar to the numbers that I have here, and uh, that's how I did that problem. That's how I did the cryptocurrency problem. Uh, that uh, I provided for the spring semester uh, for our uh, Excel MATLAB course. So with that, uh, 